I believe it was last year when I unsubscribed to Ramsey Paul. He wasn't edgy enough, and I didn't find him that interesting. I mean, I always thought he was, his style was cool. It was easy to follow. But it was getting kind of repetitive. Friends he was making in that softcore red pill shit. It wasn't edgy enough for me. But things quickly became different. I lost the same sort of spark I had for things of the alternative right. Neo Reactosphere, Dark Enlightenment, Red Pill, whatever you want to call that BS catch all term. I lost a lot of interest with it to been seeing how I'm making a lot more NBA related videos or gaming videos, so much so that I'm making Let's Plays now. Going back to doing that BS. Even if it costs me a lot of subscribers, and even if I don't get any views out of that, I stick to what I want. But, there's a lot of, there's a little bit of controversy that's stirred up over Ramsey Paul's video, Quitting America. In Quitting America, Ramsey Paul has basically said that he so this thing about opportunity costs now I sound like a jackass because I'm the worst when it comes to summarizing anything I can't make a proper summary but he says that we become so invested to things we put a lot of time into what is time? What are moments? These are all illusions. And yeah, this gonna kind of get metaphysical. But in those illusions, we're continuing to hold on to things that get in the way of what we really want. Something that's better. In this case, he's talking about America. Or, and he also uses his Examples like a job you don't want, a relationship you don't want, I think. Maybe I'm thinking too deeply into this. Because I saw it like 10 minutes ago. My attention span didn't pick that 3 minute video up. It needs to be a 7 second vine. I remember stuff that happens in 7 second vines. Not all the stuff in 7 second vines, but that second and a half climax I remember <laughs> oh shit man I'm, I'm telling you but America he feels that at one point he was like many of the Americans that are waving the flag that he was invested in the idea of what America was but that's not what America is anymore. It's not the wholesome 1950s America. It's and not even 1950s. Just the ballparks, hot dogs, America, the wholesome family America. But now it's just sodomy. It's just sodomy man sticking his dick inside another man and he uses the sodomy analogy and that things aren't going to change because the demographics have changed and the trend is really difficult to reverse especially since people and their ideas get in the way of changing the trends. Action is difficult. He talks about it in the sense that if each moment that's passing, no actions are being taken. Look, there's that moment, nothing happened. This moment, nothing happens. This moment, something happens. Oh, no, no, that's not the case. 
But when I saw this video, it basically summarized why I'm kind of done with red pilled videos for the most part, watching them the way I used to watch them religiously, practically. Because, and this is me looking at the past few videos from Ramsey Paul, he's really sort of broke bad. In the sense that there's a different tone to his videos now. There's like this somberness about the limitation of life and how everything is a passing moment and we're not seizing the day. Which we should seize the day. But it doesn't happen. A lot of us are just letting it pass by. Making excuses. Like that one year to live video. That caught my eye. And I noticed it caught other people's eyes too. Because that has twice the number of views as the video I'm talking about now. But it summarizes everything that has me discontent with the alt-right. The fact that it can be repetitive, that there's a consistent theme, and with YouTube, consistency is what gets you subscribers. I don't make consistent videos. The only thing consistent about me is that I end every video with a suck my dick. I don't get the subs. His videos are consistent. A lot of people in the all right make consistent videos, but then they make that one video. They always make that one video where all right niggas catch their feelings. They always catch their feelings and they gotta make these serious, nihilistic, emotional videos. And I'm thinking, why do you guys always have to catch the feelings? The fact that I use the term alt-right, I'm not positive on that term because it's a little more than an alternative right, it's more than red pill, neo-reactive sphere, and dark enlightenment. It's a little wider, but you see it. There's always a point where people catch the feelings. I realize how hopeless the situation is and they get on camera and they catch the feelings and they start draking out on camera. Oftentimes this confuses me because maybe a year or two ago they were on the left wing side freaking about out about the opposite things. Or they were maybe they were freaking out about the status, how the city's always going to exist and no one's gonna listen to them. But now it's demographic changes and the fact that cultural traditionalism is being eroded and eradicated. Damn. They're getting emotional about that instead. So if you're not getting emotional about one thing, you're getting emotional about the other. You're always catching the feelings. The internet is a place where Everyone's a tough guy, yet everyone has feels. What is up with that? It's always MFW, my feel win, my feel win. And yet, all of us are apparently dating supermodels. And we all have an MMA background. Why is this? What is this paradox where all of us are bleeding heart sensitive badasses? When we have a camera in front of our faces, it makes no sense to me. And these are real human emotions. A lot of this is genuine. A lot of this is not genuine. A lot of this is just douchey. But it's kind of why I'm bored of it. Because it's the same shit. And I hate being critical of things and then making a deep prejudicial statement like all of it is the same because no it's not but not honestly feels that way for me it's kind of the vibe I get
but going on to the real question, since that's going to be the shortest thing about this video, should you quit America? I know in the past few weeks, people have become more and more gay for America. That America is this male and they want it, they want that male inside them. Because America is such a wonderful thing. Maybe in the past few months, shit, that list, like half a year ago, a year ago, two years ago, it was okay to fantasize about the happening. Oh, I was making videos in January and December talking about how how the United States would be restructured post United States. What's gonna happen to America? But now it's all about the status quo. And loving your country. And doing all of that in the most politically incorrect way because that's the only way things are going to become accomplished. It's the only way shit's going to get done. The whole secessionism perspective, that's all done with. So, should we quit America? I don't think so. Is it what it once was? No. But things are always changing. The essence of a place, the essential property of any place, the essential property of any people, you gotta look at it in a vague spiritual sense. Kind of like me. In six months' time, I become Jaleel White's gradually like something happens in my mutation and I end up looking exactly like him thinking exactly like him my personality and my memories all become Jaleel White then my essence is essentially gone but because that's not happening because America isn't becoming Africa it's sort of becoming deep dirt world places with pockets of white enclaves I'm not really worried about all of that. There's no reason to quit America. But there's no reason to condemn those that want to quit it either. So I'm not condemning Ramsey Paul like I initially thought I would. He's not doing a fringe elements. He's just trying to look at things in a more realistic sense. But there's a difference between being realistic and quitting. So that's all I gotta say. It's Mr. Mark 7. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found something wise in this video and you gotta swallow it, man. What the fuck am I saying?